What's up everyone? This is Marcus from Lotus Kandamas and uh, today we're going to be doing an introduction to string tricks. String tricks and space walking have been an important part of kendama playing for a long, long time. We want to make some really good tutorials covering pretty much everything from the basics, how you get started, and we want to continue talking on how to get those really technical, difficult string tricks down with a lot of intricate details. We're going to be doing our best here at the channel to get everything covered. The thing about space walking is it's generally really, really hard to learn from just watching someone. If you don't have anyone who knows how to do it already, teaching you the ways and giving you all those little details, it can be really hard. So keep your eyes peeled on this channel as we're gonna have a lot of videos coming your way, going in depth with a lot of these tricks. And getting into space walking, there's a few introductory tips that I right now wanna cover. One of the most important ones being the weight of your kendama. This setup in particular, I'm using a black bloom tama with bamboo sacred ken, and this one is weighted out to just a gram or two difference off each other. I really find this helpful when space walking because once you start flowing around, having somewhat of a similar weight on both sides of the string really helps uh, with being consistent in what you're doing because no matter if you have the ken or the tama in your hand or you're tossing one or the other, it's the same kind of energy and push you have to put into every move. Some people like a little bit heavier Tama, some people like the Ken a little bit heavier. It's really all preference by the end of the day. So make sure you find out for yourself what works for you. I personally like having them somewhat balanced out. String length is another important thing to talk about when space walking. For me personally, I constantly switch up uh, the string length uh, depending on what kind of string tricks I do. When starting out with space walking, I recommend starting with a somewhat shorter string. The setup I'm using right now is three to four fingers, a tight four. A shorter string is really, really good for keeping your flow going, for getting faster space walks as well. With a long string, it can be really difficult to keep control of what you're doing. The Lotus Kandamas comes out the box with a 10 finger string, which is long. It's not impossible for space walking, but what I do all the time is shortening it down to have cleaner spacewalks. I do this in a couple of ways. My go-to way is grabbing your string like so, making a loop and putting your spike in that loop. The 10 finger string, I go three, four times around the spike like so, and now it went from a 10 finger to, yeah, a four. When you can quickly adjust your string length like so, you don't need a setup for juggling and late can flipping and another setup for space walking and for string flow. Another way of shortening the string, you can pop out the string from the bottom, making sure that the bead goes down the string like so. Then you make a slip knot, a slip knot. You make a, uh, make a loop like this. You grab the excess string through the loop and you pull it out while holding on to it. Now you have this little knot and that will shorten down your string. The cool thing about it is you can easily just pull like so and you're back to your long string. What I really, really like about space walking is, yeah, they're hard to learn at first, but once you got them down, they're really, really consistent and you can do them without looking. You can do them with such steez. Of course, it takes a lot of time and a lot of dedication and you really have to put the hours in but it is such a cool and fun go-to way to flow with your kendama. And flow is really a key word in space walking and it's very, very pleasurable to look at. And I wish and I hope in the future that more people will get into space walking and will uh, express themselves through the string. That's what I personally really like about string is I feel like the person is expressing themselves in a different way than when doing non-string tricks. There's so many unique and cool ways of doing a lot of these tricks. They might look similar, but there's little details making them different and through it, you can make it your own. Session string at the jam with the homies is really awesome because it's, it's really a mindless thing. Once you have it down in your muscle memory, you can really just flow forever. It's never ending. And I really, really like it as well in freestyle. First of all, I get shaky on stage but I feel like I always have my string tricks down. They don't require a steady hand in the same way. Uh, if you are also, for example, doing a juggle trick and you're messing it up and all of a sudden your Thomas down, you can quickly go into some string flow to recover and to pick up pace once again.
Like any trick or learning anything that is difficult, spacewalking and string tricks are obviously gonna require a lot of time, a lot of practice. A lot of these high level spacewalkers are making these things look really, really easy, but that is obviously because the hours have just been put in. It takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of practice. And uh, yeah, but if you're staying committed and you keep on grinding and keep on learning, you can get really, really good and steezy spacewalk flow. On the channel, we're gonna be posting a bunch of videos covering a bunch of different spacewalking tricks. Not only single tricks, but also transitioning from A to B, how you can take one move and use that move to go into other things. Um, we're gonna do our best to explain all the difficult and little intricate details of each move, but obviously it's gonna require a lot of time and a lot of practice, but together we can hopefully teach all of you a lot of awesome string flow. Here at Lotus, we really realize how difficult it is to learn string tricks if you don't have anyone showing you how, uh, how to do it. And we are really interested in getting more people on board with string tricks. Uh, so please feel free in any of these videos we're gonna be putting out to hit us up in the comments. We'll read through them and we'll do our absolute best to answer questions and to help guide the way to, to better string flow. For inspiration, I really recommend checking out a lot of my teammates at Lotus Kendamas. We got Russ, we got Rhea, we got Franza, we got Isaac, we got myself as well. You uh, make sure to check out our Instagram pages and our edits. There's a bunch of string tricks that can inspire you. The cool thing about string is how easy it is to become creative with it. It's really an, an endless, bottomless pit of concepts and the way you can go from one concept into another, it's really, really endless and I highly recommend getting into string if you haven't already. I have been really fortunate uh, starting Kendama at the Chrome shop where I had absolutely incredible space walkers around me all the time teaching me the ways. Uh, I want to give a really big shout out to the Denmark homies Torkel, Fred, Christopher, Benjamin Mastic, Emil Weilgo, Theo Bounceko, the list goes on and on. Every week we would nerd out together on string tricks and expand on each other's concepts. Um, and, and through these guys, uh, the Danish string flow was born. Uh, so big shout out to the homies. Do you want to hit some four? Yeah. <laughs> Like I mentioned, we're gonna be posting a bunch of videos teaching you how to do a lot of these difficult string tricks. I really hope that we together can create a lot of awesome space walkers out there. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled on the YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure to engage with us in the comments. I'll see you in the next video on how to space walk. Yeah.